Morning guys, Craig Tomkinson here. It's um, end of June, nearly 2020, and I'm starting to pack for my Cape York trip 2020. Heading up to Weep for fishing, taking my old mate Eddie Bloomfield, who's 82. He hasn't been up for a few years. But yeah, um, this is the old girl again, the old five metre quid tracks on my heavy duty trailer. Rebuilt the brakes, done the bearings, repacked them, did copper grease this time, done all new pistons and uh, new caliper, uh, new uh, brake pads in the brakes. Trying, uh, trying one of these hydraulic spring-loaded. Um, just in case I go to Cape Melville, I just wanted to get a bit more height. Uh, normally, I locked it pin locks up in here. I have a pin goes through with a couple of bushes out of the eyes, as spring eyes, the springs on the pin. She sits down, but she sits down pretty low. I noticed last year when I went up in April, one of the first where I go in there, this motor could have hit the ground on a couple of spots on some of the big washouts, but this year I'm going a bit later. Um, yeah, suffer a little bit of anxiety as I get older and and um, oh, sort of homesickness. It's come over me in the last few years, and um, yeah, just I was I was going. I had the Toyota packed with the roof rack and another titty, and I uh, yeah, I just didn't want to go. So anyway, I'm going to try and go up this time. But this is I'll give you a look. What's in here? I'll throw this in. Might have changed things around a bit. That takes me tackle box. Uh, my camp oven. Yeah, this is my old chipper. It's just got the... And then I just cut it off. Cut the old element out of it from on the, on the stove. Take that up there. It takes a full two litres of oil. That goes in there. Oh, there's a little pot for heat and water and stuff. A big tackle box. Anyway, yeah, that goes in there. And this old box. These are my solar panels. I've got four there. 240 and three 170s and 180s. Gives me about, I don't know, nearly 60 amps they put in to be batteries. My little, uh, I made up a, there for me, that's my 5.8 auxiliary, I made that bracket up, that holds that in there, then under here, just slowly pack around, keeping the weight, there's a couple of AGMs of my start battery, I take it out of the box because it'll break the box, but uh, yeah, it's supposed to be a heap of rain coming, so I was just, just getting it ready. See what that does. But that's um, then before we go, I pull this back a bit and I slide a tarp goes down over the front of that. All in the side of here, I'll jam cardboard and bits of pieces to stop that moving. Then over the front of that, I'll slide a tarp down. That tarp goes right back over the top of everything. And then the, that square mesh to make it legal then comes right over the top of everything. Um, on top of here, I put an old single bed mattress, comes on top of that. Then a buddy, one and a half tonne strap comes over and just puts a nice bit of pressure. I'll see what happens. There's about 23 to 60 kg of solar panels there. If I have enough room later on, I might bring it back and sit two or three back here. Uh, I just put a mattress down. And then work them in here. That's where I had them last year, but I just put them up there for now. Like I said, I'm just working on it, but that could change, but that could be good enough. I might just pull a couple of panels out of that one. And I'll just cut a sheet of ply and put a thin piece of four mil ply in between each one. And they just sit on them. I go that way because that top one was free and the other panels were about <laughs> 10 bucks each. So what, 40 bucks, 
30 bucks. That's my solar and it pumps out over 600 watts solar there, maybe 700 watts of solar. And then like I said, it'll do with the Vitron controllers, it does about 60 amps, which pump, I got 420 amp AGM batteries. Uh, but uh, yeah, but I'm just trying that this time. Um, just try and put a bit, a bit of cardboard around on, on this boat. I've got uh, around 500 kg of load I can put in it. It's 1.5 ton. The boat, trailer motor, anchor, rope, and auxiliary. It weighs just on um, a ton. The trailer and the boat and everything. So then I've got 500 kg above that, 1500. I could easily go and get it upgraded to 1800 or whatever because of the axle. But I may do that. There's a few different, uh, few different uh, engineers getting around there, so just a matter of them inspecting it, and you get the mod plate to put on it. For you know, it could be as low as 150 bucks or as high as, because it's the GVM upgrade. It could be as high as 700 bucks, 800 bucks. You just gotta. I don't load any more than say 400 anyway. I weigh everything as I put it in. That's the main thing, get your scales out. I'll show you. I got these set of scales I bought years ago when I was farming. They're 50, 50 kg scales, see? So everything I put on, when I go to load it in, I put it on those scales and weigh it, write it down, and I know, now when I leave here, I'm in Karoi, and I go through Gippie. I'll put it over the Waybridge in Gippie, it costs $30. To do a tear, you drive on. They weigh your whole, whole GCC. Com uh, no, whatever they call it, combined, combined. The truck and the boat. They weigh them they that. Then you drive the truck off the ramp, put the uh, jockey wheel down, and then they just do a uh, a boat weight, and they work out the ball weight and everything for you. And uh, I did it the other day with the caravan. And everything was spot on with it, because I, I weigh everything. I knew, I knew I was right. I've had this teared before when I got it registered years ago, and I wrote that down. So, but Soya is right. She's had a full service. I've gone through her. She's got all new belts on her. Uh, she had an oil change. Uh, I might put a new air cleaner in. I'm not sure yet. Cause I've only done one, a couple of trips around here. Not much miles. But uh, yeah, a lot of this stuff's got to go. Bits and pieces. Uh, the esky and my tent. I'm tenting it this time like I normally do. Uh, this 100 litre trailblazer comes. Those two fridges. Bit of that gear. So these combined are 36 kilos. I've got to put that on the way. Scales. I reckon that'll be that'll be getting around 50 kilos. So that'll be. But this one goes in the back of the um, Toyota. These two will go on the boat and not running. He'll have me bait in him. Hopefully, uh, Manny Bayless can get me 15, 20 kilos of bay prawns. I'll take them up. As, uh, but if you can't, <coughs> I'll buy them up there, buy bait up there. So there's the other two batteries. They go in the Toyota. Then we, case we pull up overnight somewhere, I can just put those two on and run them. But yeah, that's the old boat. She's getting slowly loaded up. I, like I said, I've changed it around a bit this time. But uh, these, these, these go in there. I've got to put some uh, cardboard on it here. When I get up there, I just use these to, because uh, you can only use these raid. This is a bloody, a proper container, but you're not allowed to fill them at the surveys anymore. But I fill them and then they camp. So I've got spare containers, I tip it into these at the camp. But other than that, the old girl, she's had an oil change, had a new impeller last year, it's only done 100 hours. So that'll do another run. Uh, yeah, had to weld a new cross member in the back of my boat. It must have been a bit rusty, so I just welded a new one in it to make sure. And strengthened up, I went four or five mil this time, a bit heavier. 
beefed her up in the corners, beefed her up because I knew I was going to go to this system. I did on this way on the way home, we might uh, go into Cape Melville for a look, ring my wife and get her to get me a permit, and go in there for a few days just for a look, day or two. Uh, yeah, okay. All right then, I'll leave it with you. I'll just um, keep packing slowly. We'll head off in a, probably a week or 10 days after around the school, end of the school holidays. So catch ya. Okay. How you going guys? Craig Tonkinson here. Ah, 2022, tripped up the weep of fishing, pulled up. Oh, it's early, it's four o'clock today. Drove pretty hard yesterday and today. And uh, we're on the side of the road between, uh, oh, about 60, 80, 70 k's from Lakeland Downs. I just pulled up here to give the old fella a bit of a spell. My old fishing partner this year, there's Eddie. <laughs> Say good day, Eddie. Hey. <laughs> just put a, put a stretcher out for him. Then he's trying to make it rain. <laughs> yeah, oh, well, well, here's the old girl. She's sitting on the side. There's the road down there. Little bloody camp off the side. See, there's the fence over there. So we're on main roads, federal main road. Not having a fire, but we're just overnight in here. And, and there's no rubbish much. There's another caravan along there. We left it, left it to them. But yeah, this is our first camp. I'm just letting me, i uh, got a few pumpkins I bought from home there, drying out. Yeah. Oh, it was bugger all traffic, wasn't there? On the whole trip up from bloody Karoi. Bit of bloody road works, but oh, that was that just let us have a spell every now and then. <laughs> I've only got the fridge on the bloody fridge this time. I've got no bait with him. Bait, like I normally bring squid and everything, but... Uh, the old fella's a gun on the uh, cast net, so he's going to throw the cast net and catch our bait. And when he when he jacks up, I'll buy some. <laughs> because he won't teach me too much. Oh, I'm not a real... All right. Cut it off there. See you when on the track. See you where we're fishing. The camp. 2022. Lucky to get permission this year to camp here. The camp's just on daylight. The boys down here in the dark near the fire because it's a bit chilly. Morning, Bob. Morning, Eddie. Morning. I, I, uh, I thought, what's that Chinese writing and that upside down? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't work out it, what was going on. <laughs> they don't pick up the low light real well, these things, hey? No, they get a bit pixelated. Plan of attack today, Bob. What's happening? Oh, we'll go out and fish somewhere. Yeah. In the wild blue yonder. I think I'll go down the four mile again. Okay. There's a shitload of fish down there. And it's a big area, too. Nice. Eddie in action, he just got this nice grunter. First fish of the day. See how he goes. He's got no gloves on, he might regret that here soon. <laughs> no, he'll be right. Oh, sorry about the sun. But we were just uh, first drop of the day. Up in, uh, for the trip 2022. Just put him in there. I've just brain spiked him and gill cut him, and now he goes in there to bleed. Sorry about the blood. But uh, that's a nice grunter. A couple more of that would be nice. Now, if you can see that, I'll just pull that 60 uh, centimetre tusky. A lot of sun there. What else? I can't think of anything else to say, but yeah, just got that one. And uh, 
drop down again here in a second. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, what is it? Eddie, uh, two or, two weeks or more we've been away, haven't we? Yeah, and then uh, look at that beautiful sunrise. And how calm it is. Up on the Cape, just come out the bar. Early start this morning for us. <laughs> oh, we're normally away by 7.30. Eddie's back there driving the bloody boat. He's doing a good job. <laughs> Hanging on to the tiller. But yes, uh, look at that beautiful sunrise. Isn't it good to be alive? Uh, we're just going to go up here and see if we can get a mackerel or something. Fishing's been a bit tough. We're just chipping away. Got our bag of blue bone and bits and pieces of other stuff. Blue bone to 620. Ian got, I should have filmed that, but didn't even phase because I thought we'd be catching them. We might get a few more today. We got a few crabs. Um, these little suckers in here. These little blue claw crabs. There they go. You get them up around the mangroves. All right. He's on to another. On to another tuna. Lee Marvin or... What do they call him? Something Flay? Gordon Flay? <laughs> that buddy. This is the churn we got down there. Just long tails, I think. We're chasing a couple for bait. It's just purring along here. Better take the motor out of gear, might make it easy for him. Yeah. Oh well. This one's coming around pretty easy, but look at it. I better get me into me um, gaff in position. Eddie just got that Mac tuna. And we're away again. There's birds over there. Chopping just here. Just getting a few for bait. Not about the sun. Get it back just as far. Right over, we're away again. Ed's got it out the back to the optimum distance. We had to get a hit there, it was just a great big heap of chopping. And I just said, can't get a hit there, there's something he was on. Here we go, we've got another lot down here. Get another one for him and then we'll go and make buddy, keep them for a couple of bits of bait, burly. Oh, he's, uh, he wants, he's going for a bit of comfort. <laughs> oh, look at that. Now he's right. Just a cup of tea and a flop a bit of me homemade cake and he'll be right. Get his energy back up. Up to about six knots I'm trolling. Sorry about that. School. We actually were chasing, uh, this is what we wanted to chase today for a bit of bait, something different. It's slowly moving down. I think that's why the fishing's a bit tough. There's that much bait here that the reef fish are full as well. Eddie's on again. Another tumour. Giving him his work out this morning. This is his third one. There's two on the deck. Oh, well, we'll hit her in the gear and go. Oh, wind him in and check him and see if his buddy got the lure. And he might get another hit on the way in on the wine. Bad luck. Just in case. Oh, it... <laughs> Drop them too. Sure he's not on there swimming with you? No, it was another one, was it? They're here everywhere. Surely you'll get another hit. Might just not have took it good. Hey?
Oh, oh, <laughs> they want it. Oh, he's all right. Let him in the gear and out we go again. Still got hooks on him, didn't it? Yep. Bit of speed drive it into him. Three hits there and he dropped all of them. Oh well, that's tuna fishing. Come back around them, head them off, and then they'll. They might have been smaller fish too. Should get another hit here soon. They're coming through there everywhere. The squeal of the reel. Ed's just got to get him in now. See, without him coming off. That's all right. Might see him in the water. Oh, he's down a pretty bit deep. Be a long tail, I suppose. Oh no, he's coming up there. Bit bigger fella. Getting the old circles going, doing his circle work. Yeah, just playing around, that's okay. We're drifting over the top, we must the only trouble. I'll just come around the other way. It's just easy to film this side, it's no glare. Oh, yeah. Ooh, he's a big lump of long tail or something there. Tuna. He's just there. Another long tail. Good work, yeah, if he comes up. Just a bit a bit short me gaff. <laughs> okay. That's another one. That's enough for bait. He was well hooked. That little white lure did the little Rapala. Had it for years. Good for, good for casting over the reef for um, um what do you call them? Trout. Oh get away from my feet. Okay, that's enough, eh? Okay. One, two, three, trout, a couple of finger mark and a sweet lip. Beautiful. The old girl's going good so far after I had to knock the guts out of the thermostat because she was uh, getting warm. All right, I'll put them in and nice day today, a couple. Ah, look at that. Another master creation just out of the oven, out of the camp oven. Ah, the old camp oven there. Jim, give it to me, me neighbour. Thanks, Jim. There's Eddie. He's on the fly patrol. He's... Got his fly swat and he's knocking them one after the other. 
<laughs> and if you sit still, it'll give you one. There. Six cups of flour. Oh, a cup of sultanas. Tin of, small tin of peaches like this. Chopped up. Two apples. Uh, four eggs. Heap of butter. A couple of cups of pumpkin. Yeah, and just throw her in there. An hour, an hour and a half in the camp oven because it's such a big one. Self raising flour, too. Okay. Uh, what's this day? How many days have we been here, Ed? 20. 20 days, is it? Since we left home or here? Since we left home. Oh, yep. Day 20 since home. Solar panels out there percolating. Batteries are all percolating down here. The old fridge. We've got a bit of fish coming up. I'd say she's... Must be nearly half. Full of good stuff. Maybe not. A bit less. Okay. I'll leave you with it. Another day. And the tuna slayer is on to another one. Chasing a couple for bait today. He's out there somewhere. Far north Queensland. Not a big sucker, I don't think, Ed. No, it's not. Is he a mackerel? Oh no, he's a mac tuna. Oh no, he might be a little long tail. He might only just woke up. He might be about to get going. Oh no, he's buggered by the way he's coming around here. There he comes. He's that bloody fool, he can't swim. He's got a gut full of bloody tucker. This way, Claude. Yeah, yeah, I knew he was a bit green. Oh, my gap was a bit longer, I could have got him, but... He's down there. They're just playing him out patiently. No rush. No good to us unless he's in the boat. So that's all right. There he comes. Might have run his race this time. Oh, knocked him off. If the gaffer was any good, there it is on video, ladies and gentlemen. Useless. I could have just lifted him in. Which I might do next time because he's pretty well hooked. Upset him, I think I did. <laughs> Ah. Sorry, Ed. The old gaff might need a sharpen. <laughs> Got no excuse. Come on. Ah, no rush. Probably drift over a lump of country out here and throw the pick on it and pull a heap of fish too. <laughs> there he is. Okay. There's Eddie, we're up the river. Just fishing off that little creek over there, you can see. Lines out the back. Eddie had a bloody vacuum cleaner on before, or AKA a, a uh, stingray. Sucked to the bottom and got round the anchor rope. Very pretty up here. We just got some live herring. Ed, bloody 
professionally I drove the boat and put him into the snag nearly and he got them in a few casts. There's a few little dead ones. I'm just keeping them alive, steady. Change the water again here soon. The buggers are things, the scales fall off them and apparently they get all stuck in their gills and that's what kills them or something. Bob's back down the river. He snuck into a well, it looked like he was doing mortal combat. He was just going in deep, wasn't he? Yeah, it's yeah. 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 nice. Look at the size of the mangrove. They're trees here. You can cut timber out of them. Uncle Bob's up there. Haven't been filming much. Haven't been catching a lot of fish. We're just getting a few. Got our bag of blueies and bits and pieces and working steady. Everybody's struggling. It's a bit quiet. Oh, I get that some years, but it's glorious being here. It's lovely and warm. And it's a cloudy day, but the old soul is struggling, but it is keeping up, luckily. I better get ready or Ed will have some in the boat for me to do. I even bought a cup of tea today. Bought the gas stove. There's Buddy. The old fella up there is about to slap something. Tide's just dropped here, I'd say, a few inches. Four or five, six inches she's gone out. She's running out now. You can see her moving. Oh, well, we'll only stay here a little while because we've got to get across to the sandbar there. We'll give it half an hour or so and we'll keep moving around. I'm a bit tentative about being bogged up here. <laughs> here comes the boys. <laughs> Any good? Not no, he well, just got anchored up. This is stunning. It is. It's sort of right on the slack of the tide. We're just hanging here. Master Bob and Rob. The two, one gentleman and one non-gentleman. <laughs> and Master Eddie, the salmon slapper so far. Up this beautiful river, a river nowhere or somewhere. Ooh. Just as though. Oh, the... no, he didn't. No, he didn't. Is he around my motor? Is he? No. Where do you got a caddy? He's a fair lump of fish. What's yeah, catfish. Oh, catty, 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 cat. Push, push, push. I'll show you what we do to catfish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look out. Oh, another one. No. That gave him a headache. <laughs> <laughs> he's dead. Oh, it's the Aboriginal with me. <laughs> Making sure. Ooh. Thank you. No worries, I think I got that on video. <laughs> Might have to edit that bit out. I had a run on the other line. Did you? Oh, it's all action. The top of the creek. Oh, big white breasted sea eagle. Look at him landing down the tree. How good's that? And I filmed him too. Any of beauty up there. He's a big one. If he doesn't pop on us, we'd be right.
do any damage. Keep going. Right on. Secret spot Eddie's taken to me. Said secret spot. Looks good, but big shit. I think there'll be crabs up here. Bring that crab pot up and leave it here. The one that's bloody down there. Put a bit of bait and tie it up. This is where you should get your crabs, right up these places. No one else is crabbing up here. A crop gets it, it doesn't cost anything. Three metres of water all up here. Man, look at the size of the mangroves here. Holy cow. A little bit smaller on this side. Get out, let's get out that side and hunt a pig. She's thick, but she was out paddock back there before. I should have filmed that too. Beautiful sunset. I'm gonna walk out on the beach now. How nice is that? And the boat's out here. Cup few on the moorings. Been here a month. One, two, three, four, five, six with that one down there. Oh, yes, yeah, she's still burning. Another one right down there. Beautiful. Okay, Eddie's buddy, we're having a good morning. We got four nice salmon, and that's what Eddie just got there a jack and a nice grunter. By the captain. Mm. And uh, Eddie just got a nice hit again, but he didn't come back just yet, so. We haven't done much filming, but there's a nice white-breasted seagull flying down there. Beautiful spot here. Oh, we've probably got another hour and we've got to head back to camp, just with the tides. But yeah, lovely day. Put a bit of wood ice back on them now. Now I've got some ripping bait yesterday, some good-sized mullet. Look at those, we got them in the cast net. I've learnt this. Eddie showed me how to throw it. Getting onto it now. Alright. We'll leave you with it. Oh, I might be getting a bite. I better go. Got it, Eddie. We're up the river. Morning, Ed. Morning. Just the sun's coming up. Going up to chase another salmon. Ah, uh, yeah, how good is that? Sunrise. How calm is it? I hope I pulled up in a deep enough spot to take off. <laughs> oh, how pretty, but all the thousands of birds back there on the sandbank. Ah, glorious. All right, see you, show you a couple of fish if we get them later. Okay. Fucking hell, you're a film star, Rick. <laughs> Went out today, got a few sweeties and a trout. Terry from Tessie, Stephen.
at Eddie's brother and wife's property at uh, gosh, I can't think of the name of the place now. On the between Mariba and Atherton, their own. It flows like that all year round and even not faster. The ladies used to come here and swim in the World War Two. This was built in the when the war was on, and they're still the same steel they used. Three fireplaces, huh, lovely, eh?